I have a selection of Hornby Steampunk models that I'm going to weather using weathering powders. I've got a variety of humble colours here, very bright colours, yellows, reds, oranges, but also earthy colours and greys. And I'm going to use some of these, not all of them, to weather my Bassett Lope models. The first things I'm going to modify are the locomotives. I'm going to start off with Leander. I'm going to keep it in its original black with silver dry brushing colour scheme and then I'm going to add to it. So first of all on this one I'm going to dry brush on a rusty colour. I think I'm going to try light rust. So these are weathering powders, literally a powder. So you can brush stuff on to create an effect. Brush it into the corners more. That's what I'm going to do with this one. Now, of course, the issue is keeping it there. And you've got a choice. You can either mix these weathering powders with something such as matte coat, humble matte coat, and that turns it into a paste that then dries and solidifies, or you can spray over this with a matte varnish. This is the humble enamel varnish I'm using. It is a matte varnish, and use this either outdoors or in a well-ventilated room, wear a mask if necessary. This is how it appears before I spray in the garden. This is how it appeared after spraying. Now that's just the first sort of coloration and you can see that the rusty areas are very much in the grooves, in the valleys and that's nice but I still want it more gradated, a bit more like that. So I need to mix these weathering powders either with water or what I'm going to use is some matte coat. The matte coat will need to be left to dry. Now I think I'm going to mix some weathering powders and colours and just see what happens really. Well, this is why it's a slightly different colour. I'm going to blend it with some of the orange powder as well. It does seem quite light so and get another brush and blend it with some darker colour. There we go. And then just try and blend this all in by stippling. So that's just pushing the brush onto the locomotive. Hmm. And we are really are creating a very dirty look now. That's quite nice. The point is here, I'm transforming the look of the loco even further and really creating a murky, dirty look as opposed to the rusty look here. And this is by mixing the colours. I've mixed four colours here. So it depends what sort of look you want to create and that was the original finish. I'm going to continue with this and make it more consistent all over this model and get it to something that pleases me. It's all a matter of experimentation and using several different colours, mixing them up.
There is Leander with its more subtle weathering finish now. When I compare it to an original piece, this is Rogue, you can see the difference. So it just creates a different type of look and then you can place that body on your locomotive. You could weather it in situ, make sure though that the running gear is kept clean. Weathering powders can create quite a mess so make sure you can clean your table easily and you might even have to wear old clothes if you're like me and you get it everywhere. There you go though, quite an interesting look.